right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Prophet John here. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, so um, we're going to be starting to do uh, videos like this where we, um, you know, look at what's going on around the world, what people are talking about, and we're going to be discussing it, okay? And, uh, and you know, a little twist. We want to pray at the end for these people, you know, these Hollywood people. We know what they are, right? But uh, let's just... I'll just go through what was what they're talking about, what the world is talking about, and then we'll we'll add a twist to it with prayer. Okay, I think prayer is always needed. <laughs> um, okay, so and remember, we we are on Patreon because anything can happen to this channel. As you guys saw, we lost the channel and then we <laughs> fought for it back and we got the channel back. We got both channels back actually. Um, and so, but the Patreons, we got Patreon, Currency Three Sixty Five, Patreon, Eyes Open Media. Um, that's where we're going to be. Um, most likely, uh, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm gonna we're, we're, unless something happens to this channel, which which it probably will <laughs> be stopped at some point in the future because of the Antichrist system and them not wanting Christians and, or people who re resemble Christ or or God or anything like that around. So we got the Patreon there, and uh, you guys are welcome to come on there. It's uh, five dollars a month. Um, currency 365 Patreon is ten dollars a month now, and so you know, post RV, you can come over there and hang out. Uh, that's where I'll be. I will be mostly uh, because uh, what's going to happen to YouTube? <laughs> okay, so I've already prepared myself for that. That's why I have to, you know, the, the things open, ready to go. Um, all right, so let's check a look at this. It says Floyd Mayweather Jr. You guys know Floyd Mayweather, the the, the boxer. He's undefeated as a boxer, so that's awesome. That's cool. He's worked hard. He put the work in, um, and he's, uh, you know, he, he's a talented boxer, right? He, uh, he can jab. He can, he can, and he's a elite defender uh, in boxing, okay? So people can hardly hit him, and uh, when they do hit him, they don't hit him hard enough because he's, it's a good, you know, he's a good defender, right? He defends himself really good. Okay, so he is slammed for showing off two million dollars in cash. Oh boy, uh, to celebrate the Fourth of July. <laughs> and I did see. That. <laughs> I was strolling through Instagram and I and I saw the um, him walking around. I saw the table here with the money, and he was walking around and and things like that. He, he this guy, you know, Floyd's been doing this for years. I mean, you're talking about. Um, 2005 and up maybe like the last at least 14 15 years he's been doing this okay and it literally literally started uh i mean they called him pretty boy floyd but they didn't call him money mayweather until after basically he beat de la hoya okay for you guys that, are, that know that are into boxing for you guys that are not into boxing you probably still know the name oscar de la hoya right because he's also a famous boxer right and now he's a famous promoter, Golden Boy Productions, right? So he beat Oscar De La Hoya. That's when he really, his stardom went through the roof, okay? He was undefeated. He beat Oscar De La Hoya. And he then became, uh, instead of Pretty Boy Floyd Mayweather, he became Money Mayweather because he was owning the pay-per-view numbers, right? Every time he was on for pay-per-view, people would storm into the clubs, into the, uh, uh, you know, pay buying the pay-per-views at home to see Money Mayweather, right? So that's when he became Money Mayweather instead of Pretty Boy Floyd, right? So, so since then, he's been showing off, right? So one of the things I've talked about in the past for you guys that have been here for a while you know that I told you guys that his ritual, because you know when you're in the Hollywood, everybody has a ritual, okay? And some people don't like to follow their rituals, you know, i.e. Chris Brown, <laughs> i.e. Um, I was uh, Kanye West, um, Cat Williams. There's there's a lot of people, not a lot of people, but there's some of the people. Prince was another one that didn't like to do the rituals. Um, and so they, you know, they make them Michael Jackson as well. Um, so they, they make them, you know, they embarrass them, right? So when you don't do your rituals in Hollywood, you get embarrassed, right? It's, uh, you get humiliated. Now, there is a humiliation phase as well to, to launch your career higher. 
Um, but there's also a punishment humiliation phase as well, okay? And so when you don't do your rituals, then they'll set you up and and make things up like Chris Brown beating Re up Rihanna <laughs> in the vehicle, um, things like that. And they will destroy your career. And then, uh, and then what usually happens, Monique is another one, comedian, and what usually happens is when you finally do your rituals and you and you you know you, you basically you're repenting to the dark side right um they have you go on a um a sorry tour or a i'm sorry repentance tour right and i think a lot of you guys have seen that right you'll see you'll see an artist or an actor go around literally hitting up every cabal illuminati secret society Freemasonry uh, music station or actoring or actor studio for an interview and they're talking about how sorry they are <laughs> you know uh, you know what they could have done better and how they're now working with charity organizations to, to help out and and to be more positive that's called the sorry I'm sorry tour okay <laughs> and we've seen actors and, and musicians do that over and over and over and over again uh, and then they get back into the good graces of the boule and then they start to work be able to work again because before then there a lot of them are blackballed right uh, you're, they're blackballed they can't really get work they try to go independent um, that doesn't work you know what I mean because everything literally is shut off um, and so they have to go on this repentance tour, <laughs> right? And uh, and we've seen that a lot, okay? Um, Floyd hasn't really done that. Floyd hasn't. Floyd has been in, in trouble with the law and domestic violence, right? But because he's so he, he he's so committed to you know this uh, you know the the the, uh, the Jews, the Zionist Jew lifestyle and and the uh illuminati stuff and, and the he he you know it literally like bounce off of him right so you'll see floyd in trouble with domestic violence mostly women right and mostly african-american women he's he always be in trouble with um but and then it like bounces off and, like everybody forgets about it right even the even when he was live streaming uh with the with this other guy and the other guy like killed himself remember that remember when that happened well, you know, everybody knew that that was something was wrong with that, right? And Floyd didn't even, they didn't even question, like, they barely questioned Floyd about that or anything. Like, he got away with that easy. That was a clear, clear sign that something was up, right? Um, that, that could have been a blood sacrifice. That Because cause Floyd was literally egging him on to kill himself right uh, to the guy that was on the phone with him so floyd was literally like encouraging him to do it right uh like a blood sacrifice you know? and that's what a lot of people thought it was because floyd didn't get in trouble and usually when they doing these blood sacrifices they don't get in you don't you they don't get in trouble right and if they do get in trouble they get out of it somehow right and the media he doesn't even talk about it and he's like, oh he's free you know what i mean <laughs> like what happened i don't know he's, he's just free now right so that's what usually happens they never get in trouble for those things um so floyd's always been fat and floyd's been flashy for a long time now about 15 years and um, he just you know he always and he hangs and he buys a lot of European stuff. He he buys a lot of things that are not part of his culture. <laughs> okay, um, part of he makes he basically um, spends his money with other cultures except for his own. Right, so he's making he's making the Jews rich. He's making Caucasians rich. He's making Asians rich. He makes everybody rich. Uh, because he spends a lot of money with them, but he doesn't spend money in the African American communities, right? Um, he's not. He's and this is this is one of the things that that tick people off. And uh, so you need to, you know, the reason why I'm doing this article, I mean, this video for this article, is because when when the reset happens, right? When the currency reset, because we're already in the reset, but when the when the currency reset happens, and you guys come into wealth. Um, you know, this is an example not of what not to be, right? Because you're going to be in big trouble if you're if you're this way, right? Because when the when the financial collapse 
happens, right? And we're in the re and we ha and we have the currency resets and stuff like that. You know, you can't be doing this, <laughs> okay? I mean, people will come right, and people are gonna be starving. People are gonna be hurting uh, financially, and you just you just cannot do stuff like this. Um, you know, because uh, you're gonna put yourself and your family in great great danger, right? Um, okay, so. Let me see what it says here. It says upset social media users point out that the former boxer never uses his money to help others in need uh, with one saying N word has nothing else to do. Yeah, I, I think I think at some point Floyd Mayweather does get very bored because uh, he has all this money. He doesn't he's not boxing. He has he has a promotion company, but they, they, they barely post any fights. Um so he's really has nothing to do and he lives in vegas so uh you know it is what it is um and he says uh take uh take it to the homeless okay and uh and that's a showbiz uh everyone has their own way to celebrate the fourth of july and floyd mayweather's case, junior's case he chose to celebrate the united states <laughs> Um, okay, and then people are talking about they need money. I, I'm not, I, I'm not a fan of that. Okay, when well, people are online talking about I need that money, <laughs> like okay, well, like he worked hard, he worked for his money, right? So you know he didn't beg people for money. Okay, so you're online begging people for money. That's the bad look, right? Go, go get three jobs. You know, go get three part time jobs and and uh, you know and then start investing in something, right? Um, you know, put your money, uh, start putting some of that money in dividends, uh, you know, like, uh, stocks that give you dividends so you can get another, make, start, start making passive income cryptos that give you dividends to make passive income. Uh, you can start doing that. There's online companies that you can do as well. Um, you know, I, I, um, you know, every day I set up my computers and I run, uh, coin to apply and earnably videos and I, and I earn those reward points and those reward points turn into, uh, coins that earn me, that, that give me Satoshis, right? So, um, you know, people can do that as well. Uh, that's a good income as well. It's not a great income, but it's extra income, especially when it's in Bit when it turns into, you know, Bitcoins, right? It's turning into Satoshis. And we expect Bitcoin to go to one million, a uh, hundred thousand to one million in the next three years. So you know what I mean. So even if it's just five dollars a week you're earning, it's in satoshis, it's in Bitcoin. So uh, that has the potential to to go a hundred x. You know what I mean within the next three to five years. So you know what I mean. So things like that is what people can do. And uh, but you know people don't want to do that. They don't, they don't want to work for theirs. They want to just grab everybody else's, right? So, so this is what the, so the, but the problem, the real problem is, is that Floyd Mayweather does not, he, well, maybe he, I, I'm going to say that Floyd Mayweather has done something for the African American community. I, I'm pretty sure Floyd Mayweather has given money to people in the streets, given the homeless, done stuff like that, maybe even secretly done charity stuff, because not everything we know about, right? A lot of things he probably done in secret um, to, to, to the uh, to people and to help people out, right? Um, so I'm pretty sure he's done that. But publicly, you know, um, he hasn't done anything for african American. Like, like, with his wealth, he could have, you know, they could have created it. I mean, you could just create your own leagues, right? So you're not playing under... Uh, you know, other race of people's leagues, right? I mean, like Ice Cube did. Ice Cube created, you know, the big three basketball league, right? For people, for everybody who hates the NBA and doesn't want to work under a Jewish, you know, Zionist Jew uh, system, right? So he created the big three, right? Um, so you can come in, you have control of your, um, you know, you have control of what you do and things like that. Um, so, I mean, Mayweather could have created, I mean, he's got his own production, his boxing production, but he could have, he could have created something as well. He could, what about ban banks? What about, you know, African-American banks, right? Um, what about schools and things like that? He hasn't done any of that stuff, right? So people get really upset because... Yeah, you you're you know you're flashing all this money and you know you're worth three four five hundred million, but yet 
you haven't paid off. I mean, why haven't you gone to HBCUs and and paid off their debts? You know, HBCUs are hurting right now, right? They need money, right? They need people to, to keep the schools alive. Um, you know, we had the billionaire guy who um, who uh, the African American billionaire who is going to be who is going to be paying off everybody's um, uh, you know all the seniors that just graduated uh, loan student loan debts, which was awesome. Now let's see if he follows through on that because it's one thing to speak it when you're giving a uh, you know speech; it's another thing to follow up on it and actually do it. So we'll see within the next year or two if he actually did do that. I mean, he's a billionaire; he could easily cut that check, right? But um, um, and I'm not I'm not sure how much it would cost. Um, I think that was Spellman, right? Uh, that he said that for so it, it might be a hefty cost. I mean, it might be a hundred million dollars. Um, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how many seniors graduated. I'm not sure what their uh, debt were. I'm pretty sure if you're a senior in Spelman, your debt's probably fifty to sixty thousand um, dollars. So you can you can see that's going to cost a lot, right? It's going to cost maybe eh, anywhere between thirty to hundred million dollars. To, to, to maybe pay off the uh, student loan debts of Spelman. <laughs> it might be 30 million, you know, so something around there. But as a billionaire, that's chump change, right? So we'll see how that goes. So Floyd Mayweather could do the same thing. Uh, he could go into HBCUs and he could pay off debts, right? He could pay off debts, he can pay off student debts, um, but he, he hasn't done that. And uh, in my opinion, I've been saying this for years, I, I believe that he can't do that. And so that's the that's the problem because because he's he sold his soul to the Zionists that he can't he can't help his community publicly. Now he might help him secretly, privately, but publicly he can't help his community. This is why he's he he doesn't care. Like if you see the videos on Instagram, he doesn't care. Uh, Gucci was making fun of African American. He doesn't care, right? He said, "I'm doing what I want." And he went into Gucci and he spent like fifty thousand dollars in Gucci. You know, like and when people were telling him, "You can't do that, Floyd," because Gucci is making fun of your own people. But he doesn't care, right? He even says it in the video. I don't care. <laughs> like I'm gonna do what I want to do, right? I don't care what people, you know, if they're making fun of African American. I'm do what I want to do. So, and I and I think that's because he's been told he cannot. He he, he shouldn't care about his community. He shouldn't care about his race. And uh, he's part of the. You're a Zionist Jew, okay? Or or what they they call you know Rick Ross calls himself a black Zionist Jew or black Jew, whatever they call themselves, right? So and so when they call themselves those types of names, that means that. Basically, they're an enemy to to the African American community because that's what that's what usually happens. They don't they never they don't help uh, or they don't want to help uh, the African American. They look but they the African Americans are now beneath them and things like that. Unless you're a part of his team, right? Uh, or unless you can make him money uh, as a boxer, and you know, and then he can promote you and things like that. But yeah, so that's why you don't see him helping, and this is why he's flashing his money and and doing all these things in front of the Instagram. He's, you know, it, it, it pisses people off because people know that uh, their culture is hurting, their race is hurting, their people are hurting, and people like him do not care because they've sold their souls, right? And so that's what the frustration is really about. <laughs> it's not really about the money. It's about that this person here has sold his soul and he could care less that people that, that look like him are hurting financially, physically, spiritually, and he doesn't give a crap, <laughs> right? And that's that's what the that that's really what hurts the most, right? It's not really about the money and things like because you know it is what it is. He's been like this forever, but it's that that is the fact that he does not care that you are going through what you're going through right he doesn't care that you're because he's beating it right by selling his soul and being good at something like not good but literally legendary great at something right and so because he's legendary he's a legend at what he, at boxing and being able and then being able to sell his soul he was able to not be a part of your struggle right 
And so that's that's the that's the discord. Like he doesn't care because he knows that he what he has done, you know, and he knows that I'm gonna be a legend forever. Um, regardless if I had to sell my soul, I'm a legend, right? And I got money. <laughs> and you guys are gonna be poor and you guys are gonna have to go through the system and, and the system's gonna treat you bad and things like that and and uh, I'm not I'm not a part of that. <laughs> that's basically what his thinking is. Right. So that's why when people that's why when people say, hey, man, Floyd, cut it out, man. He says, I'm not I'm going to do whatever I want to do. You're not going to tell me what to do. I'm my own boss. I'm going to do what I want. I don't care about your feelings. I don't care that you're struggling. I don't care about the community. I, I don't care. <laughs> OK, I made it out. My family made it out with me because of me and I'm good. So. And, uh, and that's one of the reasons why he's in Vegas, right? He's not, you know, like he lives in Vegas, you know, so that's another thing, right? So how many African-Americans, you know, live in Vegas, right? So he wants to stay away and, uh, and do his own thing. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, and that's up to him. That's up to him. That's going to be between him and God, right? So it is what it is. But yeah, so let's just pray for Floyd Mayweather and um let's go so heavenly father we thank you right now for the article and bringing us together here to to read this and to learn and educate ourselves heavenly father we pray for floyd mayweather we know what he has done spiritually and and physically in the zionist hollywood illuminati secret society masonry stuff father and we ask you to remove him from that and uh open his eyes to see um, that, you know, the things that he does on social media are hurting people and not helping his people. And uh, we just lift them up and we ask you to change him. And uh, we ask you to go into his heart and change his heart and make him a new, fresh man and uh, under the anointing of the Holy Spirit and may Floyd Mayweather Jr. change his life around and before it's too late in Yeshua's mighty name. And we just lift them up with peace and, 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 and love. And we say, Floyd, we love you in Yeshua's name. And uh, we hope that you change and we hope that you remove yourself from the uh, Freemasonry secret society stuff and the Zionist worship and, and the Egyptian worship stuff. And uh, you come back to Yeshua where you belong in Yeshua's mighty name. We all pray on Eyes Open Media. Hallelujah. Shalom. Shalom. All right. So I'll talk to you guys later. Be back maybe tomorrow with another article. So we're going to be doing these articles and praying for these people, man. It's one thing to talk about them and, and down them and stuff, but it's another thing to talk about it and then pray for them. And so that's what we're going to be doing here on Eyes Open Media. We're going to be talking about these things and then we're going to be praying for them that God is able to get inside of them, open their eyes and show them the truth and uh, and they're able to then change uh, right before our eyes. And we know that it, it happens because it happened to us, <laughs> right? We're living proof of that because many of us were <laughs> were really wicked people. <laughs> and then God was, somebody was praying for us and we changed. So it might've been our grandmother. It might've been our mother. It might've been our cousins or whatever it was. It might've been our friend in high school that we didn't even know about. Somebody was praying for us. And we change. So if we can change our wicked ways and, and all the things that we were doing. I mean, I used to slap people, <laughs> you know, so and, and I'm changed. Right. Um, you know, so and, and, and for, you know, my, my homies, DiCarlo and and my homie Sean that I used to slap and beat up all the time. I apologize and repent for that, guys. Forgive me. <laughs> that was long, long time ago. We were children. But anyways. Um, but yeah, so we can be changed and they all can be changed as well. Now, now, you know, they have to be human now. So we, that's a, that's a, that's a different video for a different time. Right. But they have to be human. Like God can't rescue them if they're not human, right? If they're reptilian or, or a lizard or something else. Cause there's a lot of those in Hollywood, right? Then God, then God can't do nothing about it. It's too late. But if, if they're human, which I believe Floyd is human, um, then he, you know, then God can and can save them right so anyways that's it eyes open media talk to you guys later eyes open peace out god bless bye